464 Control, do you have any details for exempt vehicles on Barkergate, please? Patrolling the streets of Nottingham, traffic warden Des Storey says most of his job is about talking to drivers, not giving them tickets. He says government plans to look at reducing parking fines or introducing grace periods is old news here, as they're already doing it. They said this morning to give five minutes um, observation time to a vehicle that's expired its ticket. We already give ten. You know, um, I can't talk for other authorities, but in Nottingham City, yeah, we do give uh, the observation times and the grace periods. The government are launching a consultation on parking to make sure drivers aren't being shortchanged. Last year, councils in England made a profit of over £590 million from parking charges. That number is expected to rise to over £630 million next year. It comes from fines that range from £40 to up to £130, depending on where you are in the country. Unnecessary yellow lines and ending CCTV for on-street parking are measures also being considered. Motoring groups say change can't come soon enough. Uh, if fines were more reasonable, if enforcement was more reasonable, if there was more of a sense of fair play, then the trust between councils and drivers would build up again. At the moment, it's uh, pretty much rock bottom in many places. We're not against parking restrictions, we just want them to be fair. Back in Nottingham, most people agree. Yes, it, it shouldn't be regarded as an income stream. The purpose of traffic wardens should be to make sure that traffic flows uh, safely. If, you're not, if people aren't able to drive in and park in town, it's going to affect trade in town shops and bars and things. We pay a lot of road tax for a start, yeah. and then to be burdening a parking charge on top of that. Des says he's always fair with drivers when it comes to parking. The government say they just want that kind of attitude across the whole country. Louise Beale, 5 News, Nottingham.